Good morning, guys. So, new day out in the woods, and uh, we changed locations. We actually, I went actually back out to uh, my grandfather's uh, hunting grounds. I know the area really, really well, and uh, I'm just gonna go try to find a watering hole and set up by there. Right now, on the road, about 200 yards in front of me, I'll try to get a video of her. So I'll show you guys what I'm what I'm looking for. Um, you know what? This year with the drought, a lot of those water holes that I I knew about kind of dried up. But so, and then I got another uh, watering hole right there, and like you can see, there are tracks. But the problem here is there's no cover, there's no choke point, there's no way to discern exactly where they'd be coming in, and you know what, there isn't like a ton and ton of tracks for me to say, yeah, they're for sure going to come here today. Um, so there's a couple more watering holes I'm, I'm thinking of, so I'm going to go check those out, and uh, we'll go from there. So the wind is uh, picked up significantly, so I just came and set up camp. For now, because I already know in this wind, uh, nothing's going to be moving. So I ended up finding this area out here, and I'm, I'm pretty sure it's guys that come out during the rifle season, and they've cleared out this area. And, uh, I'll show you. So, they have a picnic table, and they had a fire ring. So anyways, there's, a, there's my bed for the night. I actually brought my cot this time, so I'll be a little bit more comfortable. Uh, so yeah, just getting a fire going, going to cook a little bit of food gonna relax and uh, might just explore around here maybe try to ruffle up one grouse maybe I did I did hear and momentarily see a grouse earlier but uh, no way I'd be able to shoot on it I saw about five doe today and uh, but nothing within close is probably 200 150 200 yards that first one we saw this morning so good for rifle, but not so much for uh, the longbow. But I'm just happy to be out here. So, anyways, I'm gonna get back to my fire here. So all the mushrooms I'm gonna be showing you guys today, uh, I, you know, I wouldn't trust my identification 100%. This is what I think it is, and I am part of a mycology group on. Uh, on Facebook, so I've been trying my best to learn. Uh, the different mushrooms. Now, if you see that uh, I named something wrong, just write it down in the comments. Correct me, because again, I'm new to this. I'm just learning still, and uh, it's actually pretty exciting to finally get to learn what's around me. I definitely found probably uh, three or four um, edible varieties, so that's pretty neat. So, 
This is a king bullet. So these <coughs> these are very edible. So I'm gonna before I head home, I'm actually gonna come and collect a bunch of these because I want to try them out. So yeah. Bunch of beautiful kings right here, that's for sure. So, this mushroom is an ama, it's called Amanita mus. So basically, this thing is poisonous, where it's gonna make you vomit like crazy, but it's also gonna mess you right up. It's very hallucinogenic, um, completely different than psilocybin too. Um, the red ones, because they have all these little warts, were actually what uh, is the mushroom in Super Mario Brothers. So yeah, Am Amanita muscaria, cool find. Pretty sure those are puff balls. Find in the middle of the bush. Like I'm literally in the middle of the bush right now. So there must be a way that they pulled a got a quad in here. But this is old, real, real old. Cause it's even painted. She's all deteriorated. But I think Oh yeah, I think through here is probably where they had a trail cleared. Well, we got a uh, we got an oak growing right here. Random too, super random. Not another open site. All just jack pines, so that's interesting. Yep, nice little oak. Be some uh, dropping some acorns in the future to lure out some deer. <laughs> that's something you don't want to fall into. That's a yellow jacket nest. There's a lot of them in there. I can guarantee you if your foot fell in there, you'd bust right through their nest. It'd be, oh God, I don't want to think about that. I'm pretty sure they're yellow jackets because they're kind of burrowing into the into the dirt. I don't think people wasps do that, but what do I know? So I found another bullet. Not sure what kind this is. I'll find out when I get home. But it does turn blue. Interesting. Yeah, it's funny. There's actually tons of wolves in this uh, area. I've seen lots and lots of wolf track. Even some of the guys that ha run trail cameras around here, they say they see a lot of wolves on the, on the cameras. So I was kind of curious to see uh, if I was going to hear them howling. And it's about 6.30, 7 o'clock at night. And yeah. I had a group over here, and I had maybe a lone wolf over here, howling at each other. Pretty wild. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to pick up a little bit of, I'm just going to warm up my supper. <clears throat> have a beer, relax. Uh, I didn't get back out there uh, chasing deer. I walked around for some grouse for a little bit. I saw another little tail bounce around in the woods. Uh, the wind's finally dying down, so hopefully tomorrow morning I'll wake up and uh, the wind won't be too bad and I can go sit in my spot there for uh, for a little bit. So I'm really hoping, even if I can put four hours in in the morning and then uh, probably just head home early. I'm definitely 
you know, I'm having, uh, I'm having some troubles getting, getting into the sitting down, doing nothing mode right now. Um, definitely in my head a lot these days. Miss my grandpa a lot. And, uh, but I don't know, just sitting down, doing nothing is just, I'm just getting antsy that I wasn't like that last year, so. I don't know if I'm just, because I'm super stressed out right now, and, so, anyways, we'll see. We'll see what the morning brings. Alright. Well, have a good night. What the hell <coughs> is this? I'm like way down this bush road past White Mouth Lake, and there's a freaking house cat on the road. My god, that's interesting. Well, just found a patch of these guys. Not sure what this is, but man, it looks pretty cool. Like, look at so I'm gonna find out what they are, and if I can figure it out, I'll put it down right here. So, found this little guy. Pretty cute little mushroom. It almost, I wonder if, no, I don't think it'd be an Amanita that. That dropped its warts. But yeah, there's a few of them actually. That all through here, there's a few of them. Pretty ridiculous. There's like hundreds and hundreds of uh, king bullets here. The whole freaking road is all bullets. Not pretty wild. Now hopefully this road produces a grows. That'd be epic. So I'm gonna head back to the city. Um, haven't found any grows actually. It's kind of weird, but I, you know, there's still lots and lots of leaves. You can see everything's still super green, so very hard to see everything. But you know, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to. Uh, I don't think I'm going to uh, go deer hunting again this month. Maybe I'll try again in October. But uh, my heart's just not in it right now. I think for my grandpa's and my birthday weekend, I'm going to go to Nopeming and do a grouse hunt. But I'm having a lot of trouble sitting in a stand. It's just, I don't know. I walked a lot yesterday. Um, on my step counter, it counted almost 12 kilometers. I've walked another six. I've seen about six white tails, all does, hopping away, no bucks, nothing within shooting range. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. But anybody that's, that's uh, followed me up to this point, thank you very much. Like I said, uh, Stuff changes sometimes, and uh, I mean, I still might be able to get a deer before the end of the season, but uh, I've written it off already. I said, heart's just not into it this year. Just, just not. Anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click that like at the bottom, and if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, there'll definitely be some more positive stuff coming up. Uh, it's just a little bit of sadness right now. Otherwise... Thanks for joining along on my little mushroom hunting adventure. Talk to you guys later. Bye.